Do you think knowing like things like you know what's in who's in the top fifty and what the hot restaurant is and if you forage or if you buy eggs at a free rate, does that make you a foodie? Because if that makes you a foodie, I'm not a fucking foodie. Like I don't really know who's in the top fifty. I don't know who the mm. best chefs in the world are supposed to be. I don't really forage. I don't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. You know. I. I don't. I love food. Mm. You know, yeah. and my day is governed by what I'm going to eat. Mm. And when I'm on holidays, it's I choose a holiday destination of where I want to eat. Mm. Not I couldn't care what's there, um, what historical artifacts could be found, <laughs> um, what's the food like. Yeah, I'll go there. I don't know, what makes you a foodie? I mean, that's one of the interesting things about food and the culture right now is it has become so tribal in a certain way. I mean, you, you have... It, it serves almost the same purpose in the culture that, like, you know, r rock and roll might have 30 years ago, where, if, you know, you like punk rock, you were a different person than someone who liked New Wave yeah. or who liked dance music yeah. or who liked... Yeah. Uh, but, and now, that you know, you, you have team vegan, you have team <laughs> nose to tail... Uh, you know, who are never happier than when they find like an ox spleen lying <laughs> around somewhere. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, 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 have, you have the local war people who have to know the, the provenance of every single leaf of lettuce on their plate. You have the, you have the scientists who love going to restaurants where their food has been manipul manipulated with uh, more industrial products than <laughs> it would take to like build an atomic bomb <laughs> and everybody in these individual tribes so fervently believes in what they believe and it's a s specific kind of people who know who the top 50 is or, or even know that a top 50 exists, exists. Yeah. Yeah. but um, somebody can somebody who doesn't care about anything except finding the best uh, bowl of pho can be as fanatical and as I guess as your foodie as somebody who uh, is jetting off to go to Can Roca because it's number one in the rankings this year. Mm. Is it? It is. <laughs> okay, great. Now you know. <laughs> <laughs>